Last Lao also travels to the hell, but is named Thi Duc. I would like to tell you my asshole also travels to the hell in the dreams when sleeping. Number one, in the dream in 2014, we hundreds of people were on board on a big wooden ship on a dark open sea struck by big tornado. Many people were fallen into the dark cold sea, and then the big wave broke the ship and was thrown in the air and landed on the wooden board broken from the sunken ship. I sounded suddenly, Namo Amitabha Buddha, therefore I stood safely on floating wooden fragments. Only some people, including me, could reach the seashore safely, and others died in the sea. Number 2. In the dreams in 2016, we tens of people had to participate in the test of after-death experiences. First, we were in the dark building in 49 days doing our injury daily task. I met my deceased mother who was working there. She cooked daily meals and put them on separate table for me. Finally, we had to report our experiences. In my experience, I saw people still working after death as if they were alive because they didn't know they were dead. And then we advanced to the big quickly self-lighted area with our moon and with our stars. Many artworks devils put to us thousands of chain total Raborn people in all ages. There was a deformed giant devil with triangular face and one eye in the middle and little limbs but me and asked me how he was. I saw his heart emitting a warm red halo. I told him that he looked scary but he was good hearted and saved sentient beings. He walked away without any responses. We thousands of people then walked into another bigger dim area with many giant sharp blade automatic machines. Each person advanced to the machine to be guided into bloody ground meat. I wonder why people one by one went to the rider machine and wonder if I should come there to check and then the rider machine knew my thoughts and extended many arms surrounding me to lure me falling into the trap. I still sent it. Suddenly, Namo Amitabha Buddha for me not to be scared and not to be curious. Therefore, I stood still and chanted suddenly Namo Amitabha Buddha, praying for the executed people far away from me. And then the dim sky erupted fires everywhere by hundreds of big burning rocks attacking to our poor people. Most of them were killed by burning or by crossing on each other. I saw on the sky appear some sandwich swords and my sixth sense interpreted that I should recite the great compassion hawk dharani of Avalokitesvara Bodhisattva. After reciting only its two first sentences, I suddenly escaped the burning scenes and appeared in front of the elevator. I stepped inside the elevator. The door closed its down and I saw the 13th floor number. The elevator went up and then stopped and then opened. I stepped out and I saw two men waiting for me. They congratulated me passing the test. They let me know only some people in my group passing the test. The rest will still remain in the hell. Number 3. In 2018, I vowed to resign the great compassionate heart dharani of Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva to save sentient beings in the hell. In the dreams, I got lost in the forest with many thorn trees and could not find the way out. In my dreams before, I practiced flying continuously from low to high, from short to far distances. Then I flew upward 
and I found the way out. I found many persons stuck in many big rocks. I hold and flew each person out to the clear way and said goodbye to them. Then I flew to one big building. I did not see anybody. Then I flew to other big buildings which hung many tables and chairs in the air. As soon as I sat down on one chair, one ugly woman came out and sat down on the chair opposite me and greeted me. I greeted her back. She said, my ability was very remarkable to reach here. I wonder what she implied, and then she suddenly hurt me by pricking something like a needle in the back of my right hand. I looked at my hand and could not find anything, and then she went away. I flew out of the building and flew to another super big building with a wall built by many long big timber, chained and stacked on top of each other. Inside the executed persons cried very loudly. The more I flew upward, the higher the wall rose to prevent me from to fly inside. I thought I should destroy the wall to fly in. I suddenly had the black iron rod in my hand as soon as I talked about destroying the wall. The black iron rod was my usual weapon in my past life, but I could not get it back until now. Perhaps the ugly woman mentioned about gave it back to me. As soon as I swung the black iron rod towards the wall, it automatically extended and smashed the wall completely. I flew inside and saw a small building. There were few officers sitting on the front desk. I approached the front desk and one female clerk told me that because I reached here and won the prize of money. I told her to distribute it equally to everybody. Leaving the small building, I continued flying out until I saw an airless area full of snow under the gray sky. I thought I could not fly through it, and then I sat down doing meditation and chanted Om Mani Padmaham. To my surprise, there were many voices chanting it with me. Suddenly, I did not feel tired anymore, but I feel happily so surprisingly. I still sat down and flew out of the endless snow area. I woke up and still felt happily. Number 4. One or two years later, I was called to do Asra also traveling to the big Buddhist temple in the hell to pray for the better rebirth of the dead in Cambodian genocide, 1975-1979. I was with thousands of Buddhists in Asian close like people alive. There were many big solemn statues of Buddha, Bodhisattva, and Buddha Dharma protector in the Buddhist temple. The sky was quickly lighted with a moon and with the stars. The Buddhist temple displayed many skulls from executed people in Cambodian genocide. The men sat in the front. The rest of our Buddhists sat in the back. We all recited the great compassion, not half dharni of Avalokistak for our Bodhisattva. When the ceremony ended, there was a biggest girl thank me and there was voice of instruction from the sky. And then I was home and woke up. Number 5. In the dreams in 2023, I saw lots of people with me entering the big building with many spiral staircases made by stone. They pushed me up towards the highest floor. I came near to check and I saw many people enter the transparent stone tables and fell down and they turned into newborn animals. I suddenly heard from above the final sentences to be rebuilt in pigs because people kill many animals in the current lives. I chanted on money but Maham to escape from the scene and then I woke up. Conclusion If we fall into the hell and we run away scarily, we cannot escape the hell. We need only to pray solemnly to Buddha or Jesus Christ 
and recite some holy paragraphs and we will be saved. But when we pass away, we easily do not know what we should do. Therefore, we need to practice into the habits of mind to pray solemnly to Buddha or Jesus Christ and to recite some holy paragraphs when we are still alive. Then, when we die, our habits of mind will automatically pray solemnly to Buddha or Jesus Christ and recite some holy paragraph and we will be saved. There are many people who do not believe in the three realms, hell realms, asura realm and animal realm. Therefore, they thought they did not know the laws and then they would not be affected by the laws. But of course, it is not like that. Life cycle include being born, being older, being sick, and being die. If we die with greed, hatred, delusion, and then we cannot be reborn in a purified, newborn childless life unless we reduce the greed, hatred, delusion to the level of the mind of the purified, newborn child where we die. I think if we want to have a good house, we have to save money in advance. Equivalently, if we would like to have a good house and a good body for next life, we have to make a lot of meals and reduce our weight, hatred and delusion or else we will have a poor house and a sick body for next life.